Shalom, and you're now locked in here. It's like Talk TV, where you get nothing but the raw and the real whenever I'm in front of the camera. So make sure y'all show the page some love, like, subscribe, and share. Shalom and greetings, and welcome back to another episode here of Israelite Talk TV, where we deal with all the current events surrounding the Israelites here in this nation. And in today's headline, okay, we have Durante Martin, okay, hope I'm saying his name correctly, Durante, Durante Martin, okay, in the headline, and this is a young 19-year-old um black man that was found dead in the attic of a white supremacist uh house in um Missouri okay so um I'm just this file just hit my desk and I want to send out um uh, I want to send out the uh word into the youtube streets that um i'm taking this case okay i'm going to be working this case and um we need to start getting this case out to some of the major platforms because this is a case that we need to uh be talking about um shout out to the commentary that's uh because i've listened to some commentary uh on this case already and i don't feel like uh this is getting enough national attention um and i think that um, just like we had the situation with, uh, Shanquilla Robertson, and we was able to get the word out to the platforms and people started to talk about it. I, this is the same thing that we need to do in this particular case. Now I'm going to go over some of the details real quick. Um, I'm going to keep this short because, uh, I'm going to have a series of videos that's going to be coming, um, behind this case, but from uh the reports of what's going on uh from what I've, I've gathered thus far um Durante had uh on April 25th uh 2021 uh had went to a party and from what I'm from what I have been able to gather it was a party for um uh, Lani Lonnie Wade, the daughter of this so-called James Wade, uh, th this alleged uh, white supremacist. OK. And so he basically goes to this party where he's allegedly, from what I saw thus far, he's the only black uh, man at this uh, party. And around three o'clock in the morning, uh, there was a 911 call from this guy uh james wade to the uh you know the 911 department about a guy apparently shooting himself okay and so what you guys have to understand is the same thing that we got going on with this twitch case where you know they kill black people and one of the things that they try to use is suicide oh he apparently shot himself uh is what this guy had uh told the 911 people that he was talking to. Now, the thing that's interesting about this is that, so the family, so when when this guy went, so when, the, when they came and they found this guy dead, they didn't even contact this man's family, you know, to tell his parents that this guy was dead, okay? Now, right off the muscle, we're running into problems with this case because, if this guy really shot himself and killed himself on an accident, okay, and the police thought that when they came and they found this guy dead at this uh, white supremacist house, if it's really an accident, why wouldn't they not contact the parents and tell the parents that this guy was found dead and he accidentally shot himself if this is actually what happened, okay? From the reports that's going on is that the parents did not find out from the police that, you know, this guy had, you know, know, that he had died and, you know, the proper procedure that police is, uh, typically do. They was hearing this stuff from like family members and people in the street. Like, man, they saying that wooty wooty woo. So right off the muscle, we have foul play with this, uh, in, at this police department with, you know what I'm saying? These particular individuals. So then what they were going on to do 
is that they had already did their own autopsy. And from what I'm hearing, okay, um, they had already embalmed this guy with embalming fluid and done all of this stuff. And they ain't even, from what I'm hearing, talked to the family yet. Okay, so what the family did that was smart, and I hope they did the same thing in this Twitch case up here, they got an independent, a second autopsy done. Now, uh, the second autopsy revealed that it was not a suicide, but rather the guy was shot from uh, like a father range, like somebody shot him, um, and it wasn't an up close, self inflicted wound like they wanted to make it seem like happened. So then the DA basically, uh, now mind you, the, the law enforcement ain't telling the, the family nothing while they're trying to basically clean up this case and sweep everything um, under the rug. Now, uh, they had the DNA would uh, actually call a panel to uh, you know, they basically uh, ca uh, called a jury and they was impaneled to basically review the coroner's report and review the facts because the one corner said it was a, a accident. The second, the independent was like, no, it's not, this is not a self-inflicted um, wound uh, or, and, it's, and it wasn't suicide, okay? So the, the jury already determined this, but now this guy who uh this james wade guy where the guy was found dead at the jury already determined that it wasn't a suicide one accept accepted wound that something that he was basically murdered and yet nobody is arrested on this case they basically has just basically shut the case and like okay that's the end of it you know so um i'm gonna be uh uh going more in depth and i'm gonna be raising some bringing some attention to this case because Man, this is messed up, man. You know, we talk about all of this stuff here about, you know, justice and about, you know, uh, you know, people trying to hold people accountable for their actions and the things that they're saying. Like when we look at these celebrities, we have all of this stuff going on with Ye and Kyrie and they bring out the big dogs, the 80 year and all of these things like that. But then we have stuff that's going on here in the nation where. This guy, this young child, 19 years old, was found dead, you know what I'm saying, in this white supremacist attic. And it's just swept under the rug even after the jury came back and has determined that this was murder. This was not any self-inflicted wound or anything of that nature. And yet everybody is silent on it. You know, it, I mean, so we have to get involved and we have to raise the awareness. I want you guys to get this out to the platforms. Um, you know, just, I, you know, when I listen to, uh, this man's mother on, uh, I believe his name is Roland Martin. Okay. And shout out to his platform. Uh, I, and I was listening to it and you could tell that the woman is just, you know, heartbroken. And I mean, and that's her child, you know, but the way that the police and the people that we're supposed to not think about this, these are the people we are supposed to be respecting. And, and, and expecting to hold up the laws and do things the proper way. And these people, whenever it comes down to blacks, are not doing, you know what I'm saying, are not doing the things that they're supposed to be doing. I can guarantee you that if that was a young white child at an all black party and something like that happened, it would be the end of the world. Everything in America would stop. Every uh, news outlet will be running that and they will be demanding that everybody in that house basically be lynched. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Behind something like that. If something happens with our people, oh, it's just, oh, it's suicide. And, you know, it's whatever. And they're saying that this is not even the first time something like this has happened at this guy's house. So I'm going to be on top of this case. I want you guys to comment in the comment section your thoughts on this case. And um, any information that you have, and shout out to those of you who uh, have been sending me information, my email, um, my email information is in the description box. So you guys, I want you to start sending me the information on this, but we're not going to allow this case to go 
cold. We're not going to allow this case to be silent. We're not going to allow them to sweep this under the rug. We are going to make enough noise where the federal government is going to eventually have to step in and they need to because this whole case is bogus and all of this stuff that's going on, we have real situations like the Durante Martin case that needs uh me uh that needs uh the worldwide attention of you know everybody you know and we need to start speaking on this you know because this dude is found dead at a white supremacist house in the attic the police don't even contact the parents and tell them that this guy is in there so this tells you that even they don't believe that oh well this was an accident he said because why wouldn't they just tell the family think about that if he accidentally why wouldn't the police call why would they hurry up and do the autopsy and bomb this man body? Ain't called and told the parents nothing. And we and we just supposed to believe that and believe everything they're doing is in good faith. Oh, no. OK, so uh, just be looking out. I'm going to be dropping more uh, information on this particular case. And, um, you know, any information you guys got, send that information to me. So I love y'all and y'all be safe out here and I'll talk to y'all soon. Shalom.